all right guys it's been teased i've been actually promoting it i've been teasing it left right and center we are starting our new series and the protagonist is going to be our red turn here in the top left side of heartland it is going to be for team platinum heroes it is patches staring as the protagonist of the series called patches and his opponent as the blue protoss rocking that uh i guess that's uh, We'll talk about that logo in a moment but it's going to be air toss quite a creative name and it's going to basically potentially tell what the um, what the strategy is going to be as patches is going for a gas before the barracks so we're going to go into tech quite a bit faster and i can kind of like uh relate to this if i'm not mistaken this is going to revolve um around the new cyclone experiments and whatnot so i want to i want to uh say that i guess i have some kind of insight but i haven't seen these games yet so yeah it's going to be uh a surprise for me as well and i'm seeing something there was a rally on that scv so i suppose it's going to be a proxy we have a low uh, low ground gateway which is not really going to benefit the the protoss versus the terran so not sure if patches was playing random at this stage uh a full wall and then we're going into nexus doesn't look too promising to be honest but we have a proxy factory coming up from patches and i suppose yep we have double gas so i expect this is going to be uh hell um not helios but uh cyclones unless unless you have a hellion drop before that we'll see uh keep in mind that oh never mind we have a proxy pylon as well so i suppose judged on the positioning that this could technically be some kind of uh, either a twilight council or it could be um a proxy stargate and it's going to be potentially a proxy stargate <gasps> patches is going to scout it oh la la that's going to be juicy um Anyway, so I was going to say this can technically be anything. Oh, are we going to walk mines, Mr. Patches? Okay, I'm down for that as well. Shield battery is coming up. I guess the low ground wall is going to make this one um, even worse for uh, for the Protoss. Oh, it's going to be Hellions. All right. It's going to be indeed a proxy Stargate. And Patches is going to scout this. It's going to check. Yes, it is indeed a proxy Stargate. Are we going to see some kind of... Wait a second. Is this going to be like the new Tempest versus like uh, new Cyclones or something? I'm really, really curious what this is going to be. But no, we might not even have uh, Cyclones here. But spoiler alert, in the future, we will have some Cyclone uh, shenanigans as well as far as I'm concerned. Unless Patches baited me into believing this, uh, which I, I don't think he did. But anyways, uh, we have this low ground wall over here. We have two gateways and nothing else in terms of tech at home. Uh, we're going to have a fleet beacon. Yes, it's going to be new tempests. All right. Love me some uh, spicy stuff over here. And we have depots cons being constructed in the back. We have a, a cancel on that bunker. Sorry, a, um, a salvage. Just to uh, get the correct uh, terminology over there. And it is going to be indeed usually uh, i'm kind of confused because usually you would see this um, probably with an oracle opener but i'm not exactly sure so no hearthstone experimented with this as well uh maybe even in a a tournament but yeah so the new tempest is actually going to be better but doing cyclones are going to two shot these probes oh my goodness this is going to be super super juicy oh a bit of miss micro here on the side of patches oh but this could be juicy oh my goodness that's so many probes going down in the early game and there's not a lot of them at this point wow this was actually crazy are the stalkers going to check for this blind spot over here no they will not oh no wait oh my god oh cancel what was the cancel there i'm not sure what the cancel was 12 probes went down do we have a tempest out no tempest out but we have two vikings so this strategy has been shot down from the get-go and now the stalkers find these uh 
find this uh, proxy factory over here and the hellions are going to try and go to the low ground at least one of them and maybe get some damage probes over here oh doesn't doesn't get them a uh, bit of a pull away still gets one more probe of course not worth it to two hellions uh, it gives away the strategy but the initial hellions did their job now we have a proxy uh, command center and we're gonna have a denial on that pylon the problem for air toss is that there is not enough money and now this gets some power then the stargate will go down but air i believe patches should take out the uh, the fleet beacon maybe i don't know oh and now we're gonna have a reactor oh he's gonna scout it okay happens to the best i guess patches could just try to go for a cancel cancel the reactor beautifully done there and it's going to move the factory away is there enough uh that space over here to actually move it into a corner it's gonna burn down for sure so we can actually just let that burn down to death as yep yeah, this is going to burn down and these stalkers are actually they should not afk over here because there's no scv there is nothing here to repair that okay proxy like ninja, the ninja base has been finished and we are moving into more factories okay so double factory being constructed over here and we're gonna have some um okay i believe it's gonna be uh, cyclones at this point vikings are landing and they might just actually try and go out wow landed vikings like mass landed vikings this is gonna be some um some juicy stuff kind of happy to, to see this type of build honestly uh, a lot of vikings just uh, preparing for everything maybe a tad bit of an overreaction but i think it's going to be needed because there's a lot of stalkers moving across map but landed vikings are really really strong people don't even uh, encounter them enough to actually uh, realize how strong they are the problem is these stalkers will outrange those vikings just as they outrange the marines and a lot of other terran units course you need to oh there we go there's the cyclones by the way okay so this is gonna be really really good oh and air toss just spots a couple of these um vikings just moving moving away this patch is going to try and get away with this yes he will get away with that uh, damaged viking so we can repair it okay is that are those scvs are her oh never mind it's gonna be an scv is it the... no it's not an scv pool okay uh, for, for a moment, I thought it's an SCV pool, but I remembered that there's a, a ninja base. Uh, so far, so good, I, I'd say. We had some proxy shenanigans on both sides. A bit of a fail on the Protoss side. The patch is uh, showing some creative stuff over here. Of course, the Protoss believes that uh, they're at a advantage. Oh my god, Cyclones are going to just uh, mow down these Stalkers. More Stalkers go down and that's a pretty scary army from patches there's also a medevac so i'm not exactly sure what's gonna happen over here okay i'm not exactly sure what's happening over here okay sees that there's a lot of stuff and sees that a lot of stuff is actually moving into the main we have a couple of gateways coming up from the protoss but this low ground gateway uh wall will actually come back to bike air toss in the in the rear end as Blink is about to finish relatively soon, there's a couple more seconds. It is being chrono boosted. That's a single pylon over here. Actually, no, there's two pylons. This third pylon is in construction. That's going to cover it. Let's see the micro because now the cyclones are a bit more microable. They can lock onto a single target, um, all like all of them, so they can actually mow it down. But question is is this going to be enough for patches to break it that's a double guardian shield just making sure that at least one of them will survive a lot of stalkers with blink are going to be quite enough over here i believe i think you can just uh blink back yeah it's going to just use the blink backwards mechanic over here beautiful stuff from air toss Ooh, gets a snipe onto i believe it was a medevac if i'm not mistaken if you're biking as well and a lot of cyclones will fall over here terrible trade for patches so far patches wants to do something about it he needs to do something about it really really fast the liberator is coming up for her harassment i suppose that's two vikings one of them is going to go down uh it was more of a more of a cannon fodder or laser fodder i don't know okay oh the stalkers are actually taking out the rocks oh no air toss with a massive blunder loses a lot of stalkers over here that was a massive 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 blunder 
uh, Patches needs to fix the gas income over here because it's not gonna have enough gas unless uh, that happens. Fourth command center is going down. Potentially f even like morph it into a planetary, I suppose, for extra defense. I'm um, not sure what you could do with that. Third base is gonna get uh, scanned. And the Protoss, as far as the Protoss is concerned, Patches is on one base. So, no information regarding uh, any expansions for Air Toss. Now, obviously, that is not great. Okay, Patches is going to come in from the left side of this uh, third location for the Protoss. Maybe just wait until it finishes. Just lock onto it and, and basically just mow it down. Remember, there's no lock on cooldown over here. Ooh, Guardian Shield again. That's going to come in very, very handy. One more sentry is going to go down. You need to click on those sentries. Oh, and there's another sentry that can actually pop the guardian shield. That's a low, low HP one. There's no upgrade so far, but the armor is incoming. So uh, we might just see potential upgrades over here. And considering that they are the same cost, cyclones are not that great against, uh, against stalkers. A couple of mines being added to the mix. And a liberator as well. Now, this Liberator is in uh, in a lot of danger. Let's see if these Stalkers are actually going to pay attention. No, that's going to soften up a couple of them. And now the Lock-On and a couple of Marines are going to be just enough. There's three mines over here. And there is an Armory, so they're going to remain cloaked. Plus one Vehicle Weapons is on the way. And more Stalkers coming in for Air Toss. Any follow-up tech? There is a Robo highlight and nothing else so far there's only blink there's no forges and the game has somewhat stabilized for uh for a 12 minute game and we have a somewhat decent considering the start hopefully it's one basing pretty much considering the start um it's a a relatively healthy worker count and yeah we have Hurricane Trusters on the way. Yes, I actually remember the name. For once, I remember the name of that um, that upgrade for the, the Cyclone Speed that you research from the tech lab. And yeah. And there is also a new, a new one, uh, in case you guys forgot. It is the Medivac Energy Upgrade uh, that regenerates energy faster called Caduceus Reactor, which is, surprise, surprise, it's not from the tech lab of the starport. It is from um, from the same location as uh, Liberator Range, aka the Fusion Core. So one more uh, one more reason to get a Fusion Core in the late game, or if you already get a Fusion Core for Lib Range, then uh, yeah, just uh, basically do yourself a favor and research the Caduceus Reactor upgrade as well. Unless you're like struggling super super hard. Oh, that's a massive blink forward. Is this going to be the play over here? A couple of stalkers go down and there's a few cyclones remaining. There's a heli and a couple of marines. Even the reaper just trying to stand their ground. Just trying to pull back into mine range. Liberator is going to siege up on the left side. Maybe a couple of stalkers will stray into it. Now the third base of patches or sorry the fourth base. A new fourth base is going to be... Uh, in danger it's quite a interesting interesting uh, uh, numbering basically has to evacuate this base for sure pulls away the SCVs but possibly the command yeah the command center is going to go down now air toss is not aware of uh, of the of the ninja base the the original natural And so far, honestly, I'm not even sure who's ahead. Like, uh, Patches is floating a lot of minerals, of course, struggling on the gas. Oh, the gas come is, is really, really uh, bad for Patches. Happens to the best, you just forget to, um, to actually go for uh, the full saturation on the gases. Sooner or later, Patches will uh, will see that. We have a fifth command center, another command center floating uh, across. Actually, no, never mind, that's the main. Okay, the main is floating over to the third location, so that's going to be um, somewhat of a nice uh, a, a nice transfer. Ooh, Archars are being added to the mix. I'm not sure Archars have quite a low range. 
And stalkers are going to be decent, yes, but there were a couple of stalkers that being, have been caught off. Uh, vehicle plating is on the way. Do we have an engineering bay, though? Nope, so there's no chance for planetaries. Um, forge is just now... Oh, sorry, second forge is going to finish now. Uh, we don't have storm. And now there's a fourth base coming up for the Protoss. Of course, Patches is uh, already mining off of... Well, three bases for now. He's been mining uh, for quite some time on more bases than the Protoss, so his economy should be a tad bit better. Oh, now the Cyclones are getting uh, caught off guard. Blink forward by Air Toss. Patches loses a lot of Cyclones and the flank still goes on. He's going to try to wrap around the, the remaining Cyclones, but the Cyclones try to just get away. Take a few Stalkers with them, but they're certainly going to go down. There's a lot more army supply here on the side of Air Toss currently. And Patches is just trying to produce more and more and more just to spend that money. The gas is not looking really, really good for Patches. But he's going to take down an Archon that's really gas costly. And we have a Liberator just massacring this uh, mineral and gas line. A single Stalker is going to be uh, warped in to deal with it. But that's going to take a while. So um, Patches is actually going to have a small victory on the, the economic side. One Stalker will go down, another gets softened up. Liberator will siege up and that's going to help out uh, just a tad bit with the damage. It is going to get targeted down, but the, the tanks are going to also uh, be a massive factor in this fight. And now a few cycles remaining, but... Ooh, ooh, Air Toss has to retreat. Oh, the, oh, the command center started to float the, towards the wrong direction. Patches might lose this if he doesn't pull a couple of SCVs to repair it. Oh, is this going to be enough? No! Patches loses the fresh command center. That is a big blunder. Could have pulled a couple more pro uh, SCVs to, to defend it. And now this base, once again, has to be given up. Oh, but he doesn't want to give away. No, Patches, no. No. Oh, no. He's going to actually uh, give away the position of this ninja base. And instantly, Air Toss is going to transfer the stalkers over. And is going to rally units towards this new target point. But this base is actually halfway mined out. So, uh, technically, it did its job of being a ninja base still constantly producing cyclones <sighs> i don't know let me know in the comments what you think of the new cyclones as a terran or playing versus a terran that plays cyclones um especially in in pvt or, or tvp either of the the two matchups i'm just curious because i don't feel like uh the cyclones are as strong versus protoss might just be me but uh yeah, I just don't feel like it. I don't play any of those uh, races quite often these days, so I don't really have. I cannot really have an opinion. But from what I've seen so far, from the beginning of that um, that patch and and like PTR and everything, the stalkers deal really, really well right now against uh, cycles or with those cycles rather. Okay. Once again, we have a massive fight coming up over here. Blinks away just in time before the tanks fire. And we have a, a massive siege location over here. He's going to siege up on top of that ramp. And now Air Toss is actually blinking forward, but he's going to lose a lot of stalkers for just a single tank. That's three tanks, four tanks actually defending this line over here. And look at that. Oh, beautiful. It's going to lose that gas, potentially even that probe. Yeah, that probe is going to go down with needed a uh, couple of visions. And that's it. I am not exactly sure what happened here. But I guess that's it for the first episode of Patches. Uh, huge shout out to Patches, and I hope you guys liked it. If you like it, I'll have his, uh, his Twitch in the description. I hope I had it for... For the past few videos but if i didn't i'll try to look it up and uh fix that uh issue if you enjoyed it be sure to hit that subscribe button ring that notification bell and yeah um i guess i'll see you guys in the next one right of course i will see you then cheers <laughs>